Southeast Asia, one of the most diverse regions in the world, home of 20% of the world's plants and animal species. The region covers a total land area of 4.46 million square kilometers, with almost 2 million square kilometers of various terrestrial bodies, making it a perfect haven for biological sites and species. Unfortunately, from 1980 to 2007, Southeast Asia lost almost 600 square kilometers of forests. Indeed, a disturbing development in biological resources. Thus, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations agreed on a comprehensive program to protect and restore our natural resources. Ten years ago, ASEAN established the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity, or ACB, to strengthen the capacity of the region to reduce the loss of biodiversity, promote sustainable use of biological resources, and fulfill their obligations to relevant multilateral environmental agreements. ACB is hosted by the Philippines and currently located at the University of the Philippines in Los Baños, Laguna. ACB makes sure that the uh, biodiversity resources that we have in the region is well maintained, that there is balance between conservation and economic development. We strive for people to be aware of the values of biodiversity and how it uh, contributes to, uh, to sustainable development and to the human well-being. The center also facilitates the conservation, protection, and preservation of the ASEAN Heritage Parks, or AHPs, in the 10 member states. AHPs are the selected and protected areas in the ASEAN region, which are known for their unique biodiversity and ecosystems. They are also aimed at preserving a complete spectrum of representative ecosystems in the region. As of 2015, there are 35 ASEAN Heritage Parks in the 10 ASEAN member states, of which seven are in the Philippines. And one of them is found in the beautiful island of Mindoro. Mounts Iglit Bako National Park covers an area of 75,445 hectares, located in the heart of Occidental Mindoro. The park encompasses at least eight major river systems and has a rugged terrain composed of slopes, river gorges, plateaus and grasslands, making the place one of the most preferred trekking and hiking sites in the Philippines. Mount Iglit Bako National Park may also be said to be a perfect example of a biological diversity haven. Ang bahagi po ng protected area office dito sa Iglit Bako ay uh, kakikitaan ng iba't ibang mga tinatawag natin endemic species. Mayroon pa tayo dito yung tinatawag natin warty pig o yung mga baboy damo na kakaiba kaysa sa baboy damo na makikita sa bahagi ng Luzon at Mindanao. Uh, mayroon din dito yung Mindoro Taritic Hornbill at ganun din ang isang mga halaman ay yung ating tinatawag ng Mindoro Pines. Aside from these endemic species, Mount Iglit Bako National Park was also recognized as the home of the largest native terrestrial mammal in the Philippines, the endemic Mindoro dwarf buffalo, called the tamarau. As one of the rarest species in the country, the protection and preservation of the endangered tamarau is one of the most essential missions of the ACB. The good news is, the number of tamaraos has gradually improved from 382 registered in 2014 to 405 this year. Noong uh, hindi pa ito naging uh, heritage site, ay uh, hindi may pagkakailan na naging rampant yung tinatawag nating hunting sa loob ng protected area. So balit nung ito ay may deklara na na heritage park, ang kagandahan ay naging uh, bukas ito sa publiko para magkaroon ng konservatibo at saka responsabling kamalayan. When Mount Iglit Bako was recognized as an ASEAN protected national park, it was evident that the park was to be developed into a sanctuary. Plants and trees were protected and animals, particularly the endemic ones, were given proper shelter. 
However, those primarily affected by the changes are the ethnic tribes living in the mountain. Generally, they are the Mangyans, but the tribes are divided into numerous ethnic minorities. And the largest among them is the Taubuid tribe. Ang tribong Taubuid po ay sa simula't simula pa dito na nakatira, dito na naumuhay sa Occidental Mindoro na kung saan ang tribong Taubuid po ay may sariling wika, may sariling kultura, kaugalian, may sariling sistema sa pangalaga ng samut-saring buhay ilang. Tribal chieftain Fausto Noveloso says that the Taubuid embraces a very simple way of life. But their tribe has survived changes as they learn to adapt to modern ways, introduced by the Siganon or the non-tribe folks. These include changes suggested by the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity. Today, the tribe is now harmoniously adjusting to the regulations from ACB and the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Sa pagkaalam ng tribo, ang, ang tamaraw o ang iglit ay sa tribo, pag-aari ng tribo. Kaya ang tribo ay nagtaka kung bakit uh, pinasok ng ating gobyerno uh, na maging national park. Naging gawain ko na lang po ay naging tagapamagitan na lang ako, tagapagpaliwanag sa aking tribo na wala namang masamang layunin. Kundi bagkos, kung ang ating gobyerno lang ang, ang masunod, ayaw nga nilang patayin eh, ayaw nga nilang kainin ng tamaraw, kundi alagaan at paramihin. Yun po yung layo, yung pinapaliwanag ko sa, sa aking tribo. To maintain balance in decision-making for Mount Iglit Bako National Park, the government provides seats for representatives of the ethnic groups in the council that administers the protection of the mountains. Meron pong tatlong representative, tatlong kinatawan ang tribo ng Taabuid. Sapat na po yun upang maging uh, malakas na boses sa, sa bawat programa na ipapanais ipasok sa loob ng protected area yung boses ng katutubo sa pamagitan ng kanilang tatlong representative. As our world continues to evolve, we must understand that our lives are always interconnected with nature. The ASEAN Heritage Parks, like Mount Iglit Bako National Park, are our places to protect, places to conserve, places to nourish, and places to be proud of. Because they are our home. Kaya ang sa akin, buong lupa ng inuno ng tribo dapat magkaisa na pangalagaan yung kanilang mga nasakupang likas yaman.